good gracious lord bless me only think dear me mr darcy who would have thought it is it really true oh my sweetest lizzie how rich and how great you will be what pin money what jewels what carriages you will have mama we really need to leave now we must get to church i still wanted to have the church wedding and i was in my best dress not a wedding gown but it had to do the ceremony would be short we needed to head to london as fast as we could I never thought my wedding day would be stressful and sad, filled with concern for my sister. I was marrying the man I loved. That was my comfort, though there would be no wedding night for us. To my surprise, despite my fear of it, I was devastatingly disappointed. I wanted him. I only now realized how much. Jane is nothing to it, nothing at all. I'm so pleased, so happy. Such a charming man, so handsome, so tall. Oh, my dear Lizzie, pray apologize for my having disliked him so much before. I hope he will overlook it. Dear, dear Lizzie, a house in town, everything that is charming. Yes, Mama, we need to go. Ten thousand a year, oh Lord, what will become of me? I shall go distracted. I can think of nothing else. Ten thousand a year and very likely more. It is as good as a lord and a special license. You shall all be married by a special license. I stopped at her words. Was that what Lydia was doing? Was this why they were off to London? Did the doctor's commons to obtain it instead of Scotland? Was Wickham eligible for one? But my dear love, tell me what dish Mr. Darcy is particularly fond of that I may have it tomorrow. We will not be here, I replied and then again realized how much I'd miss her. I put my arms around her. I will write you as often as I can. Ha, oh, you know married women never have much time for writing. I will make the time. We walked together to the church and took our places. Darcy beamed at me as I walked to him. Jane now beside me in tears, excited, but also because she knew we would soon part, and why. 